Okay, girls. I think we're all a little bit disappointed to hear about Tommy Fury against Jake Paul being cancelled, aren't we? Yes, we were looking forward to watching you illegally stream this one, Master. We were all cheering for Tommy Fury. I wasn't. I was going to cheer for Jake Paul because I like trolls. <laughs> yeah, me too. But anyhow, why are you talking about this, Master? Yeah, okay, so we had the news today um, that apparently Tommy Fury is injured. And it's a little bit interesting, right? So he's put out a video, and my suspicions were aroused because he put out this video saying that he had a most terrible bacterial infection of the deep lung. And then that caused him to be, you know, very weakened during sparring. And then he suffered a terrible break of the ribs in, uh, it would have been the 2nd of December in sparring. And all of that is quite possible because certainly Tyson at that press conference they had, he seemed pretty sick. So it's quite possible they've all had, you know, a bit of a virus that's ended up with a, you know, secondary bacterial infection. That is not unheard of. That's all possible. Um, so why are you worried and why are you suspicious, Big Master? Don't call me Big. Um, it's because when you have several ribs broken, every time you breathe in, these ribs are moving and they can stab into you. And you literally, you can't just sit there breathing normally, just, you know, apologising eloquently to everybody that has supported you and how sad you are and how much you wanted the big fight. To me, it doesn't add up. But, interestingly, Tommy Fury has provided evidence because he did put up a very well ed uh, edited video. You know, we're not talking about Billy Joe Saunders here where, you know, he claims that his eye got busted, but he's there, you know, driving his car without a mark on him a few weeks later, you know, driving like an idiot. We're not talking about that. Master, leave off Billy Joe Saunders. He's going through it right now. He's probably going to be, like, arrested for, like, stabbing someone. Um... Yeah, don't even mention that. That We don't know if that's that's all alleged. But anyway, so what happened on that video is that um, I did screen grab it. Because Tommy put up a little bit about what was wrong with him. Would you like to hear it, girls? Yes, Master. All right, here we go. An MRI of his chest. This is a report that uh, Tommy's GP, and I use that in inverted commas because this is really a sports celebrity doctor that lives quite some distance away from Tommy Fury, but claims to be his GP. So, you know, we'll take the pinch of salt. But anyway, an MRI on his chest and anterior rib re region was performed on the 2nd of December. Um, it showed an acute displaced fracture through the 6th costal cartil cartilage with an associated hematoma. So if I, if I indicate that on one of you girls... All right, no, let's indicate on... Um, on Ricky Hatton. So we're talking about the left hand side. We're talking, where's a pen? Talk about the left hand side of Ricky. And we're talking very, very low. That sixth costal cartilage, it's where the bone of the rib ends, right? You can even see on it, well, it's putting the muscle actually, but you know, it's around here. So the bone of, the, of uh, the rib ends, and then you have a bit of cartilage stuck on it. And that's why it's called costal, because it's kind of, you know, on, on the outside, and it's um, it's a little bit of cartilage that's tacked on to the end of the actual rib bone. Uh, and later on, when we come to the word anterior lateral, that just means sort of forwards and to the side. Um, and what it really means is, so when it says uh, there was a further fracture through the anterior aspect of the left seventh rib, further suspected through the ninth rib, it's going all the way down here. So to the front and side... Basically, according to this report, Tommy Fury has been bashed up here and it may not be the actual bone because obviously the ribs are partly bone and then they do progress into cartilage. And it would indicate from this that it's actually the cartilage that's damaged. So this may be why he's not getting that stabbing pain and all the rest of it as uh, I suspected. But he's been hit there. Like, you know, you can imagine with a right hook, a heavy, heavy right hook. Uh, and that is what's going on with him, according to his doctor. Um, and there's a hematoma, i.e. there's a massive bruise, there's surrounding oedema, that means the tissue is flooding, uh, you know, with fluids and all that. As for the pictures, you can't tell anything from them, they are far too dark and unclear. But anyway, the diagnosis here, 
likely, and that's interesting, likely. Eh, likely? It means it's not confirmed. It means this is all absolutely Tommy Fury saying so, but there's no evidence of it. <laughs> yeah, likely. Likely bacterial lower respiratory tract infection, chest infection. And then this is certain multi-level complex rib fracture. So it would seem there is damage to the cartilage and the ribs. So unless he's completely paid off this doctor, it would appear that <clears throat> this is actually genuine and he's not just got on cold feet and got worried about the big occasion, which admittedly was my initial thought. But if it's the cartilage that's damaged, you've not got shards of bone digging into you every time you breathe if it was further around the ribs or higher up on the ribs. So I'm inclined to think, yeah, much as it's suspicious, <laughs> I think we're, you know, we're, we're, we're probably wrong. As for the plan, I've looked through all of it. Um, so it's basically, he needs to rest. Um, and of course they've put in here, basically Tommy Fury must pay a ton of money to this dude to be his private GP. And he's got this really hyped up paragraph, you know. I explained to Tommy and his father that uh, the risk of boxing with three broken ribs includes suffering a pneumothorax, a collapsed lung, a medical emergency. He would suffer from hypoxia. It can result in cardiac... Look, this is all true, but it's clearly it's hyped there. That would not normally be in a medical report. This is somebody who's received, in my opinion a fair bit of money to write a very positive report to get Tommy Fury, um, get him the public sympathy vote and mean that people don't have a problem. Just interesting. So we got the name of the doctor at the bottom, not someone I've heard of before. Dr. Usman Syad, S-A-J-J-A-D. His medical number is 7406722 at the Egremont Medical Center, which I had to look up and that's somewhere in Liverpool, basically. So this is a real GP. This is a real doctor's report. We can't deny that. But interesting, this Udman Sajad, if that's how you pronounce that particular surname, he runs a podcast called the Dr. Uz Podcast. And uh, he does appear to be basically a celebrity GP. You know, a little bit like that dude they used to have on CBeebies who would treat all the animals. And he, Dr. Raj, and he was a real GP. I'm sure he's a very smart man. Uh, but, you know, he treated all the animals. And it would seem it's a little bit like that, that this is someone that Tommy, as a celebrity, can afford to pay, and they're going to give him a glowing report so that's hopefully going to save a bit of face. But, as I said, all things weighed up. Although he appeared totally healthy in the interview, he did not, unless they've completely fabricated that report. And I don't think they could, because if you made up a fake report like that, you've created a fraudulent document, and frankly, the, the General Medical Council could strike you off if anyone challenged you and said, hey, this is a lie. And he's even named the doctor that's done the MRI, who's, you know, identified all these things and done the diagnosis. So this is a real medical report made by a real doctor, a real GP with an expertise in sports medicine. And interestingly, hopefully I've not said anything offensive about him because, yeah, he is a little bit like Dr. Raj, this kind of, you know, uh, doctor that treats all the animals and CBeebies and it does appear that he just you know rolls up here and there for the money and wants to get his face on TV and want, you know all this stuff that would be my guess it's just my opinion <laughs> just my opinion don't want to get sued by Dr Oz Dr Oz however you call his name but the funny thing was I just noticed he's doing his sports and exercise medicine diploma at Bath University so you might watch this video tonight and then he might meet me tomorrow at Bath. He might, get, he might beat me up because he might think I've dissed him. But I haven't. But I know what he looks like. So if I run into him, I, I would actually like to get the lowdown. And maybe as a fellow professional, you know, pharmacist, doctor, we do clash somewhat at times, the two professions. But it'll be interesting. But anyway, I'm going to cut off this video. So all I can say is I don't think Fury has bottled it. I honestly think he has suffered a real injury one way or the other. Look, it might have been that he uh, deliberately smashed himself up with a medicine ball. Because he lost, he lost his will to fight uh, Jake Paul. But that's unlikely, isn't it? Uh, anything's possible, Master. Yeah, yeah. Look, if it ever does come to pass, if it ever does happen, this fight, sparehead. Last comment: Who's going to win? Jake Paul. I have to agree with you, and that's why I want to see it. <laughs>